So it's been almost three years, October 31st, 2020, the last time I did a video on fragrances that leave the sexiest trail. So today I've got a new video for you with almost all new fragrances. Now I've got some of the usual suspects here, but this video features a lot of newer fragrances. But these are all fragrances that leave the sexiest trail. If you want to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. We're talking about fragrances that leave the sexiest trail today, meaning when you spray the fragrances on, you walk down a hall, your fragrance will be left way behind you and somebody potentially could end up really liking the smell and follow you or chase you down the hall and ask you what you're wearing. These are super sexy fragrances and they are approved by me and I'm going to let you know what they are. We're going to go ahead and start off with the first one and I've been talking about this one quite a bit. It's from the house of Sospiro. This is Dolce Melodia, this one right here. Come on, let's focus now. So this Dolce Melodia has been one of my favorite finds as of late. I absolutely really, really love it. Uh, it's super sexy and also has a great trail and also really potent. And I love the dry down of this fragrance as well. It's kind of a Middle East Eastern-esque, but also very fruity floral and also solar and warm and sunny. It's got gardenia, mandarin, vanilla, white musk, sandalwood, orange, pear, black currant. Really, really love the way it smells. If you're into the idea of a summery floral fragrances with fruits and kind of, you know, some little Middle Eastern edge to it, then definitely check this one out. It's Dolce Melodia from the house of uh, Sospiro. So this is one of the usual suspects. This is from the house of Nishane. It's Hachiva, this one right here. Super potent fragrance, really long lasting, also screechy, woody, fruity, citrusy, and mossy and things like that. It's kind of the, their own take on, Nishane's own take on something like Aventus, which to me, they do smell alike and they don't smell alike. But pineapple with oak moss, grapefruit and bergamot, woods, cedar, patchouli and jasmine. It smells great, long lasting, very sharp, very metallic and screechy, as I said, but a wonderful fragrance that I love to wear. Hachivat leaves a really, really great trail. Check it out if you don't know it. I highly recommend it. I'm sure you guys all know about it. But this next fragrance you probably don't know much about. It's a young house from France. This is Lumari's Porthole. Once again, this is kind of on the freshy side. And there are a few freshies here. But the, the trail for this one, it's super sexy. It's fruity, salty, kind of aquatic, not necessarily marine, but kind of goes there because there's a saltiness here. It's pineapple with bergamot. There's salt, ginger, passion fruit, white flowers, caramel, white musk, and woods. And really, really great trail. Really super sexy, but fruity, a bit floral, a bit marine. And uh, it's got this kind of... Um, you know saltiness that not necessarily goes marine but where you're picturing the saltiness you can kind of you know get the visual or the idea of a salty sea air kind of a thing like that so porthole from the house of lumari a wonderful offering from that house another new house that i'm going to talk to you about today i've been speaking about these a uh, couple of fragrances here and there this is orange parfums and this is callus subtil this one right here so this one to me does have a bit of a Baccarat Rouge-like DNA under the fragrance, but it's all white flowers, loads of flowers here with a sugar note. There's also amber, moss, and musk, but it's super sexy in a floral way and a really great trail. And also this muskiness that's under here with like a, Bac a Baccarat Rouge-like Ambroxan thing happening. The whole combination, the whole package is super sexy and has a wonderful trail. I have to be honest though, this is not a beast mode trail so it does leave a really sexy trail but if you're looking for something uber beastly this is not it but when you get used to this one it smells super sexy it smells great great for summertime i think it's perfect for this season and i think it leaves a great trail and i love the way it smells so orange parfums callus subtle this one right here a wonderful offering if you don't know that house do check it out i've got a video on the channel on that house and I think you can get an idea of their fragrances with their unique bottles. This next fragrance from the house of Royal Crown. This is Nocturna. This one right here. 
Really wonderful offering from this house. A unique vanilla fragrance in that it's kind of sort of fresh, but not necessarily. It's a crowd pleaser. I've done several sniff sessions here in the studio, also with family and things like that. Everyone seems to really fall in love with this one. I don't know what it is. There's kind of a sort of a saltiness uh, with the, the vanilla here, which makes for a very unusual but really wonderful combination that leaves a really, really great sexy trail. So it features vanilla, ambergris, sandalwood, peony, melon, peaches, lychee, magnolia, but a wonderful fragrance here. And I feel like the ambergris is what's giving us the bit of saltiness here, which also tones down the vanilla and makes it not necessarily uber sweet, sticky, sugary. So Nocturna from Royal Crown has a really, really sexy trail. Check it out. Now I'm having a bit of a problem here focusing, but a wonderful offering from that house. Let me know if you guys know that house and what you think about their fragrances. So a fragrance that's one of the usual suspects, and I speak a lot about this fragrance here at six. This is not a rank list, by the way. Going to the house of Frederick Mall, it's Portrait of a Lady. A really, really great fragrance. Sure, it's gotten a bit butchered under Estee Lauder, but the smell is pretty much the same to me, and I love the combination of the notes. It's definitely rose with patchouli. There's incense here, there's cloves, raspberry, sandalwood, blackcurrant, and musk. And I feel like there's definitely an ambery dry down here, but for me, it's about the rose and the patchouli, the incense and the cloves. So it's warm and spicy with a bit of fruitiness there. Really, really good beautiful and delicious fragrance. Can't get enough of the way this smells. And it's actually a compliment getter as well. So this is a portrait of a lady from the house of Frederick Ball. A great, great uh, sexy trail with that one. Now this next one, I actually just took it on a trip to Montreal and I was wearing it quite a bit. Loving the way I smelled walking down, you know, places I was walking. This is from the house of Mise en Cire. This is for your love, this one right here. I've, I've worn quite a bit of this one. I, I got my bottle in the summer of 2019, and I really, really, really love this stuff. It's got a great trail. It's kind of sort of Baccarat Rouge-like, but not necessarily the same. This has a fruitiness, definitely loads of muskiness, some warmth with benzoin, and also some earthiness from patchouli as well. But a combination is really, really wonderful. So raspberry, exaltone, cashelox, benzoin, or benzoin, patchouli, heart as well. Really great creation from, I guess it's Alberto Maria's from the house of Mise en Cire. It's his own house run by his daughter. But I feel like this fragrance is definitely one of the best from this house and I really, really love it. And of course it has a great sexy trail. So this is For Your Love from the house of Mise en Cire. Check that out if you don't know it. Uh, moving on to the house of Electimus London. This is Octavian, this one right here. This one does remind me a bit of Portrait of Lady. It's once again, rose and spices, but this one goes into a bit of an amalic direction with a bit of sweaty cumin in there. But it's an overdose of roses. We've got oud with taif rose, an attar of roses with some saffron and pink pepper, loads of spices here, and it eventually dries down to kind of an ambery, woody experience. But the, the, the rose in here is kind of juicy and jammy at the same time. And then the oud in here is quite delicious. So if you like the idea of Portrait of a lady with more spices, less fruits, and an oodiness with an oody backbone, definitely try Octavian from the house of Electimus London. Now this next one was recently featured in a scent club kit number four. This is from the house of Thomas de Monaco. This is raw gold. This one right here. Really fantastic fragrance and a great sexy trail. Really love that about it. It's warm. It's spicy. It's earthy. It's boozy. A bit lipsticky, but super delicious fragrance. Kind of classic and modern at the same time. It definitely touches on some classic styles, but I feel like it's a very modern fragrance. The patchouli in here is amazing. The whole entire fragrance is great. Smells fantastic. Really love wearing it and you end up leaving a very sexy trail when you're wearing this stuff. Raw gold, super amazing, a great fragrance. This one actually was part of Scent Club kit number four. We sold out 450 kits of that uh, Scent Club and uh, really uh, everybody seemed to love it and I get comments and uh, messages sent about how much you guys end up loving raw gold. But the next fragrance, another usual suspect, we're talking about Javoy's Psychedelic. 
So one of the things that's really one of the sexiest for me is patchouli. And patchouli has a major longevity lingering power. Also, just lasts longer than a lot of other notes. But that's what I like about it. It's typically a bass note. It's part of the woody category. It's more about an herb like, you know, mint like uh, ingredient, a uh, plant. Uh, but for me, it's amazing. It smells great. With psychedelic, we're taking that earthy, woody patchouli, combining it with warm notes of vanilla amber labdanum and things like that so it creates an ambery vibe contrasted with the patchouli and you get this kind of chocolate cakey vibe and it's super super delicious and when you wear this stuff you leave a massive trail a super sexy trail if you don't know psychedelic this was also featured as one of my uh, scent club kits uh, scent club kit number three but a wonderful offering from Javoy. I absolutely love that and I can never get tired of that fragrance definitely not tempo from diptyque which to me is more of a green fragrance just spoke about that fragrance uh, with the video about Olivier Peshot recently who passed away but moving on to the house of Bodicea the Victorious this is harmonious this one right here Really a great trail with this one as well, and also a reminder of Dior Homme Parfum. For me, a wonderful, wonderful, very, very sexy fragrance. And this one is super intensified in comparison to Dior Homme Parfum, and you get more of a, a sexy trail with this one. But in the end, it's Ambrette, Oris, Musk, Vanilla, Roses, Cognac. I also get like violets in here, and I feel like there's definitely a makeup vibe here. Lipstick makeup kind of a vibe, but it's a massive fragrance, really great trail and smell super sexy. This is Harmonious from the house of Bodicea the Victorious. I, I was so happy when I discovered this fragrance at Selfridges in London. Instantly had to buy it because it reminded me of Dior en Parfum. And with the fact that we think Dior en Parfum is now discontinued, I've read online it is, uh, I'm glad to have that one I can wear. And hopefully you can get just you know like released everywhere that sells uh, Bodicea the Victorious fragrances. So up next going to the house of Fragrance Dubois this is Parisian Oud this one right here it's interesting the box says Parisian Oud the bottle says Parisian so I don't kind of I kind of don't get that but whatever the fragrance itself smells great I love it it's super sexy with Oud once again but to me it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Octavian from Electimus but I feel like the notes have been reversed you get more Oud and Amber and Incense with this one a little less less rose and uh, spices but in the end it kind of you know acts like it's kind of like from the same offspring if that makes sense although it's created by the same perfumer Christian Provenzano so it makes sense he's kind of using similar notes but this is more of an oud bomb with an afterthought with the rose as I said but you got major am ambery touches I feel like also there's a bit of saffron even though I haven't you know seen the note come up with this fragrance but it's super super sexy great trail and also compliments with this one so Parisian oud from the house of fragrance Dubois a great offering if you haven't tried that yet but but moving on to the house of Marc Antoine Barrois, I was going to go with the original Ganymede, but I'm going with the X straight because it is a little bit more intense than the original. And it is super sexy. I find Ganymede to be a very sexy fragrance, kind of in that line of something not necessarily smelling like uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, but kind of a similar idea, I feel like, with different notes. This one features Everlasting Flower with incense. There's myrrh, saffroline, akigala wood, mandarin. It's definitely a bit more dense than the original. The original is a bit more ethereal and airy. Here we've got a bit more potent variety. But in the end, it's not uber uber bee smoke but still leaves a really great sexy trail and I find this DNA of this fragrance to be super sexy as I see and I think it has quite a bit of a following. Let me know if you're uh, into Ganymede and if you prefer the extrate or the original but either way Ganymede extrate is a great uh, fragrance that leaves a super sexy trail. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet definitely try it but moving on to the next fragrance from the house of Unui Nomad. This is Click Song. This one right here. I told you there's going to be a lot of new fragrances in this video. This one was featured in my video I did for the house overview of five fragrances and to me it is super amazing this one because it's got patchouli once again and I find this combination of the roses and patchouli together extremely sexy. It has a wonderful wonderful trail, really sexy trail with rose, patchouli, there's geranium here, there's amber, there's vanilla, there's labdanum so in the end it dries down to kind of a vanillic and ambery dry down but along the way you have aromatics, the geranium complements the rose, 
rose. The rose is jammy here, super beautiful, very, very sexy, very intoxicating with the patchouli. Absolutely love it. If you haven't tried Click Song from the House of the Nuit Nomad, definitely try that. Really delicious fragrance. The next fragrance I'm talking about is from the House of Clive Christian. I'm finally talking about Clive Christian fragrances. This is town and country. Comes in the most gorgeous red bottle. Kind of reminds me of Baccarat Rouge. Maybe kind of, sort of. I, I, I don't know if they're similar because I do get something ambroxany in here, but more for me like it's ambergris or something uh, in the combination of perhaps ambergris and ambroxan. But this features cedar, patchouli, ambergris, cashmere, olibanum, white tea, juniper, cardamom, sandalwood, clary sage. Really, really great trail with this one. Super, super sexy. It is kind of also a beastly fragrance. Really intense combination of notes together. I really love the way it smells. It does have a kind of unusual smell, which I quite like for a fragrance, and that's why I keep highlighting this one in comparison to other Clive Christian fragrances because I haven't been a fan of this house uh, too much but I really like the way this one smells. So this is Town and Country from the house of uh, Clive Christian. Let me know if you have sampled that one. The next one I'm going with is from the house of Thomas Cosmala. This is number four Après L'Amour, this one right here. Really an intense Ambroxan bomb. If you don't know this one, definitely try it. It's very musky, very woody, very ambery. Also a bit salty because I feel like the Ambroxan has a bit of saltiness here. And I feel like with this particular Ambroxan, they boosted up its saltiness because, you know, Ambroxan is definitely an alternative uh version of ambergris but really really great powdery there's some light citruses under there and for me it's kind of a powdery ambroxan bomb and it is overdosed here this is number four après l'amour from the house of thomas cosmala let me know if you've tried that uh, fragrance and then this next one is a fairly new house for me but really great discovery for me this is from a house called stellar sense this is earth this one right here Oh man, this is super, super amazing, and it's great in the heat, even though it's really, really intense the way the fragrance wears. And you know, for me, the combination is really, really sexy and a sexy trail and great, great longevity with this one as well. For me, it's the combination of oud with rose. There's leather and there's vanilla. Man, it smells super delicious. And again, the combination is intoxicating. It is wears really beastly and intensely on you. And of course, you're gonna leave the sexiest trail when you're walking around. So this is Stellar Sense Earth, a great house I've discovered. Hopefully I'll be doing a video on that house soon. Stay tuned. We've got a few more fragrances left. This next one's a usual suspect for me. This is from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. This is Ursa. I can't get tired of this fragrance, even though it's got a bit of animalic quality here with the leather note. But to me, I love the combination of the boozy notes, the dried fruits, the patchouli, vanillic touches. There's elemi, tobacco, incense, and vetiver. But man, the combination is great. I love it. It projects like crazy and has great, great sexy trail. I think it's the leather in this fragrance that kind of turns some people off because it does go into a little animalic, but I absolutely love it. So Ursa from the house of Tiziano Terenzi. Really great fragrance. Uh, this next one's not necessarily a usual suspect. Came out a couple of years ago, and I really like the way it smells. It's also a freshy. Also has great lo longevity, lingering power, and it smells great with its trail. This is from the house of uh, Zerzhov. This is Torino 21. Who has a great experience with this fragrance and great longevity? I can't believe how great it smells on me, off of me, off of other people. And I'm surprised at the longevity with this one. This is a combination of mint with verbena. There's musk, lemon, basil, blackcurrant, lavender, thyme, and jasmine. But an intoxicating combination and a super, super sexy trail. Also a very cozy, calming fragrance as well. I really like that about it. But you know what? It's a freshie, so test before you, you know, plan to buy a full bottle, get some samples or things like that, because everybody has uh, experiences differently with fragrances, and fresh fragrances can be a bit all over the place. So test it out with your chemistry, but for me, it's a great longevity and great trail. It's Torino 21 from the house of Zerzhov. That is uh, the second to the last fragrance I'm gonna talk to you about. And I know a lot of you are probably tired of this fragrance, but I can't get tired of it because I discovered it quite late. It is one of the usual suspects as well. This is from the house of Maison 
Dom Francis Crook Gen. This is Baccarat Rouge 540 in the Extrade of Parfum Concentration. Really, really love this stuff when I really, really hated this stuff way when it first launched. I like Ambroxan. I'm addicted to it. It's very intoxicating. It's very addicting, and I love the way it smells and fragrances. On its own, also combined with a lot of notes, and in here, it's really, really magical combination. So it's a combination of ambergris with ambroxan. There's saffron here, there's almonds here, there's jasmine and musk. Really super long-lasting, really great trail. One of the sexiest trails ever in any fragrance is created. It's like cocaine. You've got to try this stuff on. You get addicted to the smell. That's what happened to me. As I said, I hated it before, but I smelled it everywhere. I got addicted to it, and it's an intoxicating smell with a very, very sexy trail. So... The last fragrance that I'm talking about today is Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Ray version from the house of Maison uh, Francis Kirkchen. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on these fragrances. Have you tried these? Do you have the same experience as I do? Also, let me know what fragrances that you consider that leave the sexiest trail for you. Uh, put some comments down fragrances that I just did not discuss today. I'd like to find out some more fragrances so I can check them out and perhaps report on them very soon. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. And finally, a bonus layering duo of two fragrances going to the house of Maison Crivelli. We've got Ingredients 072012, this one right here, with... Eccentric Molecules, Molecule 1, plus Gaiac Wood. These two are such a magical layering duo. I am so surprised how great they smell. So, Ingredients 072012 is a great fragrance on its own. Really, really love it. They haven't published the notes for this fragrance, but for me, I get notes like saffron, dry woody notes, light fruits, amber, and leather. Of course, saffron creates a leatheriness. For me, that's what I get with this one. And of course, with the eccentric molecules, Molecule 1 and Gaiac Wood, it's basically ISOE Super and Gaiac Wood together. But when you layer these two together, super sexy trail, amazing combination, and really, really Really wonderful wear. If you haven't uh, tried these two, try them. The only thing is with the Maison Crivelli ingredients 072012, the only way you can get it is if you buy it off of the Maison Crivelli website or if you live in Prague in the Czech Republic, you can go to the ingredient store and get a bottle of this. But the two together, magical combination. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today. Have a good one. Goodbye. I wanted to add a little info also about the 30% off happening over at So Avant Garde. If you caught my video from yesterday, the website has a 30% off discount code for me from yesterday up until Monday. 30% off all the fragrances on that website. Sebastian30 is the discount code. I did forget to mention that uh, Mind Games fragrances are not included with a 30% off discount code, but everything else is. Also, to let you know, Several of the fragrances that are, you know, featured in this video today are available for sale on that website. So if you're on the market or in the market to buy fragrances, check out that website. And I have it linked in the info box. Make sure to use Sebastian 30 to take 30% off all of the fragrances and it expires Monday night. Thank you and see you guys later. Bye bye.